don't have the right version of this file, download the re-download the right version. Uh, Laurel asks, will you be able to move player houses? We can move anything in the game that we want. <laughs> will we move player houses? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the power. Well, All right. Yeah. Think. People on okay. people on the internal people on hatchery are going to you know meet the chaos though. Oh, yeah. I guess they heard us all singing now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's just uh, Can you get the broke build? Actually, it's online. Andrew uploaded the broke the build song. Uh, it's in one of our updates. Like, yeah, two, Mark, three months Mark ago. put it in one of the updates, but we'll. Uh, we can link it again. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's there's a selection. I think there's three or four. There's three. There's, um, there's the Oak, Oak Canada Broken Build one. Um, Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what kind of roadblocks do you guys perceive from having the most issues overcoming? Um, kind of still out there is trying to do peer-to-peer -peer patching. Um, that That's a hard problem that we haven't solved yet. I'm not sure we're going to solve that one by launch, but we haven't locked it in. We haven't We haven't done anything to stop us from doing that. Is this your whiskey flask when you're trying to work on something hard? And um, I, I actually normally keep gin in it, but uh, I'm, you know. a, I'm a whiskey person myself. But, uh, da, da, da. To get alpha access, do I need more? Um, I would say that uh, no. If you uh, you know if you have a tier that has alpha, you will have alpha access regardless. That that's an easy one. Um, but let's keep it back to the actual asset and content and all that. Um, we have a channel of communication who want to report security issues if you find them and don't want to exploit them. Uh, right now, you you know we are small. You can email support at citystateentertainment.com. Um, you know we we will. Like I said, it's, there's not that many people here. They get dealt with if we hear them. Now, can you tell a little more about the server physics stuff? Watch the engineering presentation tomorrow. That's an awesome one, seriously. Um, my favorite whiskey, uh, I would say Blanton's is my favorite. Mine's Knob Creek. Nah, not it. Why would I put that in code? <laughs> Can the client be launched with minimal assets and played while it downloads streams and the rest of the assets? Um, yeah, there's nothing theoretically stopping that. Right now, the patcher just sort of, uh, you know, it needs a little bit of work, but it's totally feasible. Uh, who says you know more, Mark or Andrew? Probably Mark. Maybe, maybe. So the question on the, will the internal, will access the internal testing server Hatchling be available for founders with current access at later game stages on the beta release. Uh, we'll be doing probably a little bit more stable builds for uh, alpha stuff, and uh, you'll be able to see it on right. the Twitch channel. Yeah, the, uh, the idea, of, the idea of Wormling is, you know, once we get it to a stable point, then we will roll that and kind of have like, all right, checkpoints along the way. Like in any given day, you know, there's going to be new stuff, and there's and there's going to be new bugs in that. And once we get most of those nailed down and say, oh, it's not crashing, then roll to Wormling. And again and again, until we ship the game. Um, how much of the system was built in house? Uh, patcher wise, pretty much 100%. Um, you know, uh, Dave did most of the back end work. Uh, JB's done a lot of, on you know getting data from our build farm to you guys. Uh, JB did most of the work on actually getting assets built. Um, I you know. It was my vision, man. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew's vision, we, we, we built it. Yep. <laughs> um. so the patcher is always ran in the background. How resource intense is that? Uh, when no data is coming down, it's pretty lightweight. Um, you know, it only wakes up when we send out new, new files. Yeah, it sleeps basically in the background until it actually has stuff to do. Is alpha access planned to be 24-7? No. 
Um, you know, we basically we don't want to burn people out on a game by playing a half finished version of it and so on. Um, you know, we'll have coordinated tests of you know everyone jump in now, kind of thing. Uh, physics questions. Watch the watch the presentations tomorrow. Uh, what? No, our patcher does not patch Andrew. Has <laughs> <laughs> uh, been the most hilarious thing you've dropped into the game in testing so far? The duck. Tyler just like will spawn giant ducks with you know various textures. Sometimes again, God complex. To test things, I sometimes throw the duck texture on other random objects. Like yesterday, if people were on the IT client, they may have seen a tree that was completely covered in rubber ducks. We let artists anywhere near the patcher. Um, again, the, the hatchery right. channel is, that's where we work. There's not like a secret internal channel that, you know, you guys, that internal testers won't have access to. That's, you know. Internal is internal. Um, log on now, <laughs> seriously, if you're at that tier, of course. Um, how do you start building such a huge project? Uh, uh, certain <laughs> irrational exuberance, I guess. <laughs> Insanity. You know? yeah. uh, the, su the support of tens of thousands of backers uh, telling us this needs to happen. Yeah. Our next big thing to do for us at this point is make a game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get from the infrastructure stage to the gameplay stage. With all the new opportunities this patch opens up, what are you most excited about? Asks Tainter Tots. Just had to say that name. <laughs> um, I'm most excited about how quickly we can fix things after launch. That, you know, that's not something that we're going to be dealing with for, you know, a year plus, but, you know, the, the main thing that I saw with war was just, all right, you know, we need, we want to iterate on the combat on this thing. And, you know, when iteration time is measured in weeks, then, you know, you end up overcorrecting or undercorrecting or doing all kinds of things. What will you guys be doing after CU goes live? Um, well, that's th this thing's a marathon. We're going to be running CU for a long time to come, hopefully. How fast can the client receive splines from the patcher, and are they pre-reticulated? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, I, I actually like splines a lot, and no, they are not pre-reticulated because uh, they're much more compact before you re reticulate them. So we like to minimize our data size. Um, says the guy with a really unpronounceable name. <laughs> Have you ever heard? <laughs> um, we know you did that. What? Uh, Viking character creation. Um, do you see players having to re-download the client, whole client before beta? Um, the patch is actually smart enough to only keep one copy of a file that hasn't changed. You know, so, um, you know, when we do a push from hatchery to warbling, there's not actually, you know, if you are subscribed to both of those channels in the patcher, then you won't see a new download because you will have already downloaded the files. Right. Any file crossover is just taken care of automatically. So. Uh, um. Yeah, again, lots of lots of good questions about gameplay and uh, game server architecture, and those are for another time. But I understand like they're really important to you guys. Um, how big is the flask? Sixty-four ounces, or approximately one liter, if you use intelligent units. 
Um, how sensitive to packet loss? Uh, pa patcher is not that sensitive. I mean, the patcher is not meant to be absolutely real time. It's meant to be on a lag of you know minutes, yeah. seconds to minutes. So yeah, that doesn't matter. Um, how many people will the server be able? Oh. Again, so stuff about like the gameplay server is it really is just like a, a completely separate uh, Q and A. Can you push the bill that turns the world into a dance party? Dave did. Just, yeah. just, ask, just ask Mark about dancing. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Um, do you patch live installation files? Of course. Um, well, Alpha testers have access to hatchery in August. Um, again, not committing to dates. Uh, that is a discussion for, I mean, but we are kind of staging out things. Hatchery is our IT server, though. I think the question was, do Alpha testers get hatchery? Um, are you managing response time? Blah, blah. Patcher can patch the patcher. Yes. That, yeah, that's it patches itself. Yeah, it does patch itself. Um, and it patches its UI, which runs separate. And it's, there's like a tiny little patcher core that ideally we never update that at all. And then it patches in the UI and it patches in you know various channels of clients and it shares stuff between them. Um, Yeah, the, the whole, does the art team, uh, all the others have access to, to changes and things, the game with this new software? Yeah, that's, this is how we work. Uh, the really, you know, the two exciting things for us are how quickly we can iterate internally and uh, also just how, um, you know, the fact that we are opening it up to everyone with internal test access and, you know, at least planning to put a little window into the real, into it for everyone else. Answered it from two squish or no? Uh, if the patcher only scans files when changes are pushed, how do you keep people from modifying files while the client is running? Um, you're wrong. It doesn't only scan files when changes are pushed. So, yeah, no, we, you know. If you, have thought, if you can think of an exploit in the 20 minutes since uh, you saw this, Trust me, we've thought about it in the last, uh, you know, year and a half. Um, will the Wormling server be open 24-7? Uh, no, the plan is to not have that open 24-7. Um, yeah, that's only for like, you know, for, okay, now we need to schedule a whole bunch of people for a test that will be at an announced time, like, you know, if, if it's open all the time, then no one's going to be online when we need, online when we need it, is kind of the thinking. Like, we, we want to pull all the, enthousi all the enthusiasm and all the people into places where we can actually load test with lots of people. Can the patcher remove files which are not required? Yes, that's easy. Um, is it a possibility in the future to add in player-made assets or content um, yeah, that's, uh, that, that's not, in theory, it would be possible, but I mean, possible, in practice, um, going to. yeah, in, pra going to. <laughs> in practice, we're probably not going to let people paint textures. Um, yeah, there are so many problems that can go <laughs> wrong with that. If all of you were perfect angels who only meant the best and Will I be able to copy the game files from my buddy to save on download caps and time? Yes, you can copy all the files that were downloaded. Um, it's up to date, and then it will remember that. And you'd have to download, or you'd have to copy the potato files. And the, we have pack files. You'd have to copy. There's a specific would, files yes. you'd have to copy, but it would yes. be new. Um, being able to patch on the fly. Uh, Okay, 
um, talks about priority logins. 